Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the Brick Shaver Shaving Channel. My name is John Newton and today's products will be um, I'm going to have a second shave with the standard razor which I bought from America and I'm going to probably use it for the next few shaving videos to uh, get an idea of what it's really like. So in case you didn't see my last uh, video this is uh, what it's like. It's made out of uh, aluminium and it's got a uh, black coating on it of some kind. Um, I don't think it's polyester uh, powder coated, otherwise I think it will come off very quickly. But uh, I don't know. I had a look at the website and I couldn't see. So it's a standard three-part razor. And um, to go along with the theme of black, uh, today we're going to be using the uh, Gillette Ruby Black. So there you go, and uh, it's a brand new blade. Um, uh, just bear in mind that I would not, if I wasn't doing shaving videos, I wouldn't be using a brand new blade for each shave that I do. But I am trying to, I'm trying to use and test out as many blades as I can uh, within reason, um, just to see if there is any difference. Uh, so far, I can't honestly say that I've noticed a huge difference between blades, but then I don't try and have lots and lots of different shaves out of them. So uh, we will uh, place the blade in the razor. Let's just take it apart. I have tried to do this while um, holding it up to the camera before in the past, and what usually happens is I usually uh, end up uh, dropping them and throwing them on the floor. Uh, but, uh, open up the uh, Gillette Ruby Blade from um, the USSR or Russia or St. Petersburg I believe where uh, something like 50 or 60 percent of the world's uh, razor blades are now being made. That must be a town and three quarters that one. So uh, just place it in the uh, I would really love to go to St. Petersburg, but uh, the, honestly, the um, cost of getting to the uh, USSR and the hotels and all the rest of it, it just seems really prohibitive to me. And uh, to be honest with you, I'd rather go somewhere warmer than colder. So uh, that's the razor, and as you can see, if you've never seen it before, uh, you can see the edges of the blade. Is that a good thing? <laughs> and uh, the shaving soap I'm going to be using will be uh, L'Occitane Cade. So this is going to be the second time I've used it. Will it be as fantastic as the first time? Probably not. I was quite shocked as to just how good this was when I used it. And um, I've got a new shaving brush. And uh, th this is going to be really interesting. All the rest of my uh, brushes are natural. And this is a synthetic, and this one is made by the German company Müll. And uh, they call it their silver tip fibre shaving brush. So, um, seems quite soft in comparison to other brushes. So, is that going to be a good thing? Will I really like it? Will I only ever be using this brush? I don't know, we'll see. Uh, as for always, I buy all these things myself. Um, um, I'm really educating myself and hopefully that uh, we learn things together about a little bit about wet shaving and double edge razors. Um, I don't use a cutthroat uh, at the moment. Um, I have got one um, and uh, I'm just not comfortable with it. So. Uh, um, use what you're comfortable with and if one day you suddenly feel brave which I might well do I will um, I will have a go with the cutthroat so, stay tuned to this channel to find out which shave that will be <laughs> here's the cave uh, see how we get on with that I like the tube. Um, would I? I've, I've noticed that it's uh, on their website. Twenty-two pounds tube. That seems very pricey to me. 
Uh, when I bought it in the uh, duty free in the airport, sixteen pounds seemed expensive as well. So, um, so they just wet the brush in the sink. I mean, you don't have to spend fortunes on shaving soap or shaving cream, and some are better than others. On the cheap side, I do have some very cheap ones, which are okay. You know, you can't complain uh, for the price. You know, um, it's nice to have a treat uh, every so often. So, I've, I've wet the brush. And uh, let's see how we go on with the cave and the synthetic. That's definitely a fantastic smell. I think it must be the, um, I think it's got some juniper oil in it or something. So and it's definitely got some other scents in there. It's a really complex perfume or scent. Um, it's not your it's just simple everyday uh, scent that you expect to be using. I really love it. I don't know. I, will I get another tube of it next time I travel? Probably will. I travel quite a lot to, in particular, to Italy uh, because my wife is Italian. So you know, I probably will get it next time I travel. I, Twenty-two pound at the shop. Oh, that's a bit. It's a bit pricey for me, really. A uh, little bit more water in the bowl, I think. Um, I think last time I used this, I found this to be... Um, what was the word? Um, quite thick and quite, uh, quite a nice shave. Um, I didn't put very much in there, as you can see. Um, when we started, there you go. So, uh, I think that's not bad. It's a bit loose, so I think I just overdid it with the water, or maybe, I don't know. I'm not an expert. Let's put a tiny little bit more in there. A tiny little bit more. And uh, I'll bring it back. We didn't, didn't put very much in there in, in the beginning, so. Great smell, really, really great. Still seems a bit loose, might be the water. Uh, here I found a where I live, I live in Margate in Kent, and um, apparently there are two major water sources for the town, and um, one is a little bit harder than the other. Um, when they, presumably they switch in between, you certainly do notice a difference in taste from tap water from time to time, which can be a bit unnerving sometimes. <laughs> Wetting the face, of course, I'm wetting my face. Right. And um, let's uh, see how we get on. Still, I think it's a bit loose, but uh, it might just uh, me not being used to the brush. But surprisingly enough, this has got quite a decent amount of backbone, this brush. Really quite surprised. Synthetic. Brushes, I always been led to believe that they were uh, had no backbone. Um, of the synthetic brushes, this is one of the more expensive ones. Um, they seem to be bringing out a lot of very cheap American brushes at the moment, which I don't have access to. I looked at ordering um, a brush from America to try them out, and. Uh, it was like $15, but $40 postage. Now, by the time it gets here, we get charged uh, tax on the postage as well as the uh, brush. So it just wouldn't be a viable shipment. So It's quite interesting to see that on the famous auction site eBay, they have a system of um, you prepay the import charges. So you, don't, you know what they're going to be up front be interested to know how that works and, and why it works and why um, American uh, retailers can't do that. Um, 
I mean, they must be able to because eBay can do it. They're not the only company. I know they're big, but it does make you wonder. Hmm. Oh, so the uh, scent from the cave is just fantastic. Um, uh, I'm not saying rush out and buy it because, uh, you know, I, I, I don't think anybody should buy stuff just because I'm shading with it here on YouTube. I just... I can only tell you what I think. I I bought the cape because my wife loves the, the hand cream. And I thought, well, you know, she's going to have a treat. A treat. I'll have a treat as well. So that's how it started. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Here is the uh, standard razor. Black with a uh, Gillette black blade. Ruby. Don't really know what that means, so don't describe it on the packet. I just got it, uh, got a, a, one of these sampler packs off of eBay of uh, different uh, blades uh, just to try them out. So uh, here we go. I'm going to slow down because the last, first time I used this razor, I think I was a bit quick with it and I made my skin a little bit sore. So I'm going to start down here today. It's uh, Still very smooth, this razor. The blade is uh, quite smooth as well. Is it dead st straight in the holder? I'm not really sure. It uh, feels like a little bit more aggressive on one side than the other, that blade. Lighting seems a bit strange in here today. Oh, what's going on? It's very bright. Uh, so the camera might be getting a bit confused. Good old seagulls in the background. I say good, they're evil really. I like this razor. Uh, with this blade, it's uh, definitely not as smooth as uh, the, when I got it with the Astra, when I shaved with the Astra. So it uh, feels more uh, aggressive if that if that is the word. I haven't come across anybody who's, smell, who's uh, selling um, uh, Captain Kai Blades or Kai Blades, which is another Japanese brand, uh, which I wanted to try, but I couldn't find anybody who would sell them along with others that I wanted, so I'll have to wait. Um, I'd be interested to hear if there's any razor blades that you really dislike and that you won't use. I, I've heard that Derby are ones that people don't like. I found them perfectly okay. Um, I honestly, uh, at this stage in the process, think that there are a lot of uh, the... Um, opinions that people have about razor blades or razors or brushes are on the back of somebody else's opinion you know they they'll see somebody else doing a review of it or hear about them or they'll uh, be told uh, or hear that something is good bad or indifferent and then they'll kind of like collect that opinion from the other person and try it out and then be biased in a negative or a positive way We are human beings, we can't help by, uh, but be affected by what other people say. Um, 
horribly independent in that way. If somebody tells me something's really good, I go, is it? <laughs> Let me try that. And uh, um, uh, quite critical uh, when it comes to that kind of thing. That's right. Second pass with the standard razor, Jet Black Stealth. I must admit, I still this the scent from this cage shaving cream is just great. It's uh, really uh, uplifting uh, kind of scent. Really, really. Uh, I I I've got to get some of their aftershave. Uh, I'm, 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 I might order it today. It just, if the aftershave is like the shaving cream, it just make me feel good all day. What I need, I need a mirror there. That's what I need. Now I have the camera angled this way so you don't see the funny little window. Because um, if I put the window there, it's really distracting. But uh, uh, the mirror is over here. I need the mirror over here somewhere. So I might see if I can get a pound stretcher and find a cheap one. But I can stick to the window, to the shower screen temporarily anyway. I'm wittering on and the shaving cream is dissipating. Uh, normally it doesn't do this, it's just... <laughs> wow. What do I think of this brush that I'm using? Well, what I would say is it appears not to really be holding the water uh, like uh, a natural hair brush. Um, it's um, got quite a lot of backbone. Uh, doesn't splay very much unless you really push it. Don't think you want to. The tips are very soft to begin with. Don't think there's a breaking process with it. They are handmade, I understand, the same way as a, normal, uh, as a natural hair shaving brush is. Put way too much shaving cream in the bowl, probably because you used half, but I got overexcited. <laughs> Do I mind the noise of this razor? I don't know. I prefer the razor to give me some feedback. Um, you definitely have to adjust to using the aluminium because it is just so light. Good blades, these Gillette Blacks. They call them black because of the colour of the packet, I suppose. It's not bad. I think um, I've been very, very gentle with the razor. I've applied virtually no pressure. So. Because the uh, 
because the uh, razor is so light, uh, it is very tempting to just apply a little bit more pressure. Okay, I don't think that's uh, at all bad. Little bit here and there that needs attention. These are the bits you can't really see, you can only feel. Have I missed any bits? Have a look. Are there any bits of shaving cream that I haven't got? I can't see it. No doubt, I'll go downstairs and my wife will go, John, you've missed a bit. <laughs> we'll have a bit of the old Chanel um, Platinum Egoist uh, Apre Rosage. Or uh, Doppo Barber. Or aftershave, a little bit of sting. That was quite a decent shave, I think. Really enjoyed that. Um, my opinion of the blade, the Gillette Black Ruby blade, um, very sharp. Um, it seemed a bit odd. It was a little. It seemed a little bit uneven in the razor to me. Um, might have been me just a different angle there but i enjoyed to shave with it the cage shaving cream well fantastic really uh, just really really good and um the mull uh synthetic silver tip brush i think it's a bit of a it's a different experience to a natural fiber brush uh, um it feels like um it's not holding much water and I expect it to dry very quickly uh, which is a, a good thing for drying I'm, I'm not so sure that's so good when you're using it to shave I'm used to the natural hair brushes which hold a lot more water I wonder if one day they'll be making dog hair brushes um, anyway so I hope you've enjoyed the shave please press the little thumbs up button on the page just below the video that's a like please like this video please subscribe if you're not a subscriber I'd love to hear what you thought about the razors the blades the shaving cream um, the time of year um, please share with people you think would like this and above all enjoy your next shave see you in a couple of days time for another shave right here on the Brit Shaver shaving channel bye for now